gonna film a get ready with me and I'm just gonna also talk about some thoughts I've been having messages I've been receiving so yeah um, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what things I need to get ready to so the first thing that I really love to get ready to is um, Devin Lee Carlson vlogs. I feel like I feel like the vibes are just so right for how you want to feel when you go out. So yeah, that's my definitely one of my top favorite things to watch. Um, before I go out, I also like to listen to um, Playboy Cardi's um, Red album. I think that the vibes for that album is like exactly the vibes I want to feel when I go out. So it's just manifesting good moments. I just use the MAC prep um, and prime. I've also been reading this fire yoga book called Yoga of Heart and I'm pretty sure I talked about it in my essentials video but it's fire and it's been talking about how there are, I'm going in with the Glossier um, sky wash and Terra but it's been talking about the balance of um, male and female like within us because there's male and female energies in all of us and they kind of vary through all people but Uh, it talks about how there's an imbalance right now in our society. Um, an imbalance of male and female energy. And that can be seen through... Now I'm going in with the Glossier Lit Star. And... Cub. I love this one. But yeah, the imbalance can be seen um, in all facets of society and that clearly comes from within um, each one of us and how in each one of us there's a imbalance because our society doesn't allow us to kind of uncover those two poles within us especially for men they're told that they um can't express emotions as much they can't be as vulnerable and so they kind of subdue that side of themselves they don't really access that part of themselves they're not in union with that part of themselves so then, you know, that leads to things like trying to fill that void with unhealthy habits and continuing that pattern. And women do the same thing. Some women with their male sides, some women with their female sides. But yeah, it's super interesting. I feel like I've been getting a lot of messages about balancing male and female energy and I just wonder like how that concept is gonna blossom in my life. I feel like it'll be interesting to learn more about and grow in. And one of those, um, one of the, like, Probably the main reason why I love yoga so much is because now I'm gonna go in with this random gold uh, eyeliner. It's fire. But 
that's why I love um, yoga so much because this shit burns because it's so cheap. I'm just gonna put that on my lid too. That's fire. The definition of yoga is union. I like to put the glitter in my hair too because you can never have too much glitter. Because yoga means union. Basically what you're doing is um, aligning your two poles. You're creating union. Now I'm gonna go in with the glossier play um, in bijou bijou. So yeah, you're, when you're doing yoga, you're aligning your poles. You're becoming in union with yourself. You're taking that time to be close to yourself. And I think that's definitely a huge part of my journey of finding my balance, I guess, between um, my male and female side. That actually makes a lot of sense now that I'm saying that because I just got out of a really long-term relationship with a man I'm at this point in my life where I just don't really want to be intimate with man. Like, I'm just healing and I don't want to do anything before I'm not ready. So, lately, I've been um, like experimenting with women, and it's been so nice and nurturing and I feel like the first time in my life I really value um, sisterhood and sister circles and just being listened to and relating to the women around me and I feel like being intimate with a woman definitely like expands that concept for me and it's been lit. I think like definitely um, trauma from men brings women together and I think like right now my um, intimate relationship that I'm forming with a woman right now is just so nurturing and we definitely bond over our place in society and experiences in society as a woman. And I also think it's just so soft and so understanding and um I also think like I like like the little things in like a female relationship like picking outfits together and like um putting on moisturizer and washing our face together I feel like it's just so lit it's so fun, it's like a sleepover <laughs> every night with your best friend and you just do girl things and it's so lit. I love the vibes of a female relationship for sure. So I feel like perhaps like going back to like what I was talking about before, I guess I'm on this journey definitely of balancing my male and female sides because like I said, society kind of prevents us from doing that. And I think definitely um, for the first time really like exploring my feeling towards women, I'm learning a lot about myself and my own biases and, and kind of reevaluating like how I look at myself, how I describe myself. It's very interesting and I think like I'm uncovering a lot 
and I feel really grateful for it. I'm going in with the Hula bronzer. So fire. I also think, you know, as women, oftentimes we're kind of like pinned against each other. Like, um, even when we were little, like, there would be kind of competitions with other girls, like, a lot of the time, like, about boys, a lot of the time about boys, at least in my experience, I'm not going to speak for all women, but definitely from my experience, and I think, like, that kind of environment can be really toxic, and, like, women, and I think women in this world really need to remain connected and uplift each other and figure out how we can be successful as one in this society rather than separated in competition um and now i'm going in with the uh, glossier cloud paint and storm i love this color just a little bit goes a really long way though but yeah, I think in a system, in a capitali capitalistic system um, run by mostly white straight men, oftentimes like who we are gets swayed because in order for those in power to stay in power, they have to do things to make sure that they do stay in power. And some of those things are making those below them go against each other. And instead of the people looking inward, discovering who they are, they're spending their time working for the machine and They lose themselves, and that's why we have global warming and unhealthy habits. We can't be perfect, but I think we should all look inward, and especially as women, we definitely need to be here for each other. It makes me think of this song by um, Tupac called um, Keep Your Head Up. My friend told me about this song, and I think it's a perfect song for like all humans to listen to um, and it's about like respecting women which is a vibe i think something else that's like been on my mind a lot lately i don't know like just being vulnerable as a woman i think i really realized after being in a relationship um with a man that i am vulnerable like um you know I'm literally not as strong. I just use the Glossier U perfume. It's my favorite perfume to like go out in. I definitely learned how vulnerable I was as a woman in this world. And so definitely I think my fear has increased um, around men. Look how fire these earrings are. I think that's um, all the more reason for women to uplift each other and teach each other things so we can keep so we can keep each other safe. I think something that I learned as a sister in this world that I want to share with everyone is that important for all people to accept men all people really um but just from my experience i've learned it's very important for me to accept men in my life for their actions and honor um who they show me are who they show me they are through their actions rather than kind of um and look at this hey anyway 
it's important to accept men for who they show me they are rather than hoping that they're better than who they show me they are and I think it's a really important lesson that all people should implement in their life be observant of how people show up for you how you show up for yourself things like that something along um, the lines of vulnerability I think as a woman we are vulnerable um, in certain aspects that we can I've, that I've just noticed around me um, I think oftentimes it's difficult for decisions to be made like if you're in a group of men um, especially just like being with at least more than one man I just feel like when I want to do things sometimes I have to get approval so I went in with the um, Generation G lipstick in zip I got a lot of glacier on me um, but I'm gonna just tap in the lipstick because I don't want it to be too dark and I'm gonna be vibing and I don't want to have to worry about my lipstick anyway yeah I just thought it was interesting like an interesting observation that sometimes I feel like I have to get approval from another man before doing things like if we're hanging out like the women often don't get to make the decisions in, in group settings, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's interesting. Just things I'm learning. But I'm gonna get dressed now into my outfit. This is the final fit. It's this um, anthropology cheetah bracelet with my earrings and then this sweet pearl bag and then these shoes which are Kate Spade. I think they're cute and they help to kind of... I just love them. That's pretty much it. But yeah, here I go.